in today's video I'm going to talk about um, area um, measurement of a closed object um, and how we can perform uh, some area calculations as well uh, addition subtracting um, to find a total area uh, using AutoCAD I will start by using the quick area command which um, can be uh, find in uh, home uh, ribbon measure and select quick if i click inside uh, for example this circle uh, it will immediately show the area and perimeter of that shape and the perimeter uh, similarly if i go to this shape um, and click inside it will automatically uh, show the area and perimeter uh, as can be seen in the screen and in the command uh, bar. You also can combine uh, many uh, shapes in the calculations by using the key um, from the keyboard shift and uh, click in the different shapes. So if I uh, click from the keyboard the shift key and click for example in this circle it shows the area parameter for that circle but then inside the smaller uh, circle it adds the area um, to addition to the area so you can see the area are increasing um, and this is the total um, area of these four circles now just remove the shift key and it will go to the previous preview um, and press escape to uh, end the command the other command is the um, area command which again from home ribbon uh, measure and select area let's imagine now i want to uh, do uh, the area for uh, these circles to add them together uh, the first thing i need to do is uh, to select add area uh, or do a right click and uh, select or choose add area uh, because I know these circles are objects, I can also uh, choose object from here or again do a right click and select the object uh, option. Um, now click the, the first circle. It shows a green area which means it's been counted in the area. So we've got an area of 335 and then the total area as well, uh, 335. As I move to the next circle and click uh, you will see the area is changed to the last uh, uh, area I measured and the total is increased uh, in a cumulative uh, way. So the more I click, the more areas are added and then I got the total area of all circles. I press enter, um, the program will show me the uh, area of the last uh, circle I measured and the total area of all uh, uh, four circles. I have finished so what I'll do is I'll do escape so I end the whole command now I will try to to do subtract using the objects here the rectangle and the circles so I'll go back to home ribbon measure and area again and then right click add area uh, in the add area mode I will select the four corners of that rectangle and then press enter the program immediately uh, shows the total uh, area of 11520.00 for that rectangle uh, again right click and do subtract area and, and because we have um, the circles are uh, objects so i will use the object uh, um, command now so right click object then I will start selecting the circles one by one. So the first one, uh, and you can see uh, the total area is uh, uh, decreasing because it subtract the area of that circle. If I select the next one, it will subtract the area of that circle. Third one, fourth one, and you will get the total uh, area up after subtraction as uh, 8900.26 once you finished you can click enter and the program will uh, again show 
the area of the last object you measured and then the total area uh, after subtraction. Now I will press escape to end the command. Uh, that's it from me and I hope you learned something new and uh, hopefully see you in the next video.